Yeah. They can't do something. Well, so every animal is a sentient being. Yeah? So we don't we know very little about how different animals perceive frustration. Uh, we don't know that, right? We don't know. Probably an, a monkey doesn't reflect on these frustrating situations that he cannot do the task, right? They live in the here and now, and they, they don't sit in their cage thinking, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be doing the same thing tomorrow. So they, in that sense, they are not considered to have self-awareness. If they look in the mirror, they don't recognize themselves. They, they, say it's, they think it's somebody, somebody else. It's only the chimpanzees uh, and bonobos that can do that. So the, the, the great apes, they have more of this self-awareness. But, of course, they feel their frustration. And so, definitely with temporary, inactiva temporary inactivations, you sometimes see the animal looking at his own hand and say, Oh my God, I can't control it anymore. So he really feels that this is a problem, of course, right? Uh, but then again, it's over you know, a couple of hours later. And even in, in his cage, you don't really see the deficit because it's so subtle. It's really, you can only measure it when you do very detailed uh, grasping experiments. So, so it's a misconception that these animals are sort of reflecting on their own fate. That is not true. That's, that's our projection of our thoughts into an animal. Uh, the same with our cat and our dog. Our dog is happy when we come home, but yeah, this is it's not probably not reflecting on, on on the fact that his boss is away for for a couple of days or something like that. So, this is anthropomorphic reasoning, basically. Yeah.